Okie dokie, YouTube family. It's time for an empties video. I feel like since it's been such a long time for me to be off of camera with all my health issues, that these have really stacked up on me. So I'm gonna go through them fairly quickly so that you guys can see what I'm gonna repurchase, but I also want to not spend a lot of time on each product. So before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the button below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos that I might be having. Also, if you enjoy this empties video sometime through the video, would you please give it a thumbs up? That really does help me and I appreciate it very much. Okay, into the products. The first one is from Tantal. I love Tantal. I buy this off of HSN and this one is their tanning mist. I love this stuff. It is really good. I use it on a tanning mitt um, and then I just, you know, rub it on my body. I really love their individual packages too. So that is a yes on the repurchase. This one is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I had a small one of that. And this is probably one that I won't repurchase just because I don't appreciate the ingredients here that much. Even though this is a company that everybody touts and this is a great exfoliating product, I'm gonna stick with my The Ordinary AHA and BHA product. It just works really good for me. Another thing that I will not be repurchasing is from Number 7 Laboratories. This is their Line Correcting Booster Serum. They made this like a syringe um, where it looked like a needle on the end. But you guys, this is nothing like what they touted. They said that this was be going to replace Botox for some people. No, this is just a really high price tag that did nothing for my skin. I was so disappointed in this because I have really bad 11s and then I have the really bad lines around my eyes and I felt like I really wanted to try this and give it a good shot. Used the whole tube religiously morning and night and did not notice a ding dang thing that was different in my skin. This is from Redken Color Extend Magnetics Conditioner. Why does it always take me three times as long to go through conditioner as it does my shampoo. I don't know, but it does. So this one lasts me such a long time. It is a good conditioner. I do like it. I do feel like any of these color extend conditioners and shampoos are really good if you do have color treated hair, which I do. And so I really did enjoy this. It's very thick. It's very creamy. It's almost like a hair mask and I did like it a lot. Speaking of hair masks, I have two. One is from Briogeo Don't Despair Repair a deep conditioning mask. And then this is from Amica and this is the Soul Food Nourishing Cream Mask for your hair. I liked both of these very much. Um, I loved the Amica for how soft it made my hair feel and I love the smell of it, but the Briogeo just seemed to give my hair a little bit more softness and carry on a little bit more softness into the next day. I usually wash my hair every other day and it just really seemed to stay with my hair. So if I had to choose one of these to pick up and buy again, it would definitely be the Briogeo. I've had several of these little tubes and I do like that product a lot. A few more things for the hair. I have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Love this stuff. This little tube is just one of their deluxe sizes or whatever they're called, mini sizes. And this lasted me quite some time. Like I say, I do my hair or wash my hair every other day and I was using this. And you only need about the size of a dime in your hand and it you know works through all of your hair. Really made my hair very soft. I love that there's a heat protectant in here. There's a shine in here. It just really, it's a really good product. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that one. And one of my repurchases that has happened for over a year. Uh, this is from Kirkland. This is the Extra Strength Minoxidil 5%. I love this stuff. Last year, I went through a horrific time with my hair where I lost half the volume of my hair because of some stress that I was going through. And I was so discouraged after that and I feel like this saved my hair. And it has made me grow hair where I don't think I've had hair in years. It's basically stimulated the hair follicle and it comes in with a dropper that goes on here. Just take the little dropper and you put it on your scalp and then you massage it in. And I love this stuff, we'll never be without it. From Redken, this is number 11, Iron Shape. This is a heat styling protectant or thermal protectant with a hold in it, a little bit of a hold in it. I love this stuff. It's so good and I spray it on my hair after my hair is completely dry. I spray it on my hair right before I'm going to flat iron 
or curl it and brush it through and then go ahead with my styling and it really helps your hair hold the curl a lot. And not only that, it's really good because you're protecting your hair right before you go in with the heat. This is from Philosophy, their Purity Made Simple Cleanser. This is my ride or die cleanser. I can buy a huge one of these and it lasts me forever. And I've been using this for probably like eight years or longer. It's just one of those ones that for me, it just is a no brainer, takes my makeup off really well, takes everything off with Without stripping my face which I love now I do have to go in with something a little bit stronger than this if I'm wearing waterproof eye makeup this I would have to rub too much to take off my waterproof eye makeup but for everything else and every other time when I'm not wearing a waterproof mascara this one is wonderful I have four creams. I am really trying hard to use up what I have before I go in and purchase anything else. This one is the urea 5% cream from Numis Med. This is their day cream loved this stuff. When my skin was going through a time when it was really angry and kind of sensitive, I would put this on. It just seemed so soothing. Now I'm probably not going to repurchase this particular brand. I really want to try the Sukiyaka Suhata one that is the 5% as well. Really want to try that. So this one is probably not one that I'm going to go back and repurchase, but not because it wasn't good, just because I want to try a different one. From Derma E, I have two. This one is the Hydrating Day Cream. This one wasn't quite hydrating enough. It did play well under makeup though, I will tell you guys that. It wasn't quite hydrating enough for me because my skin is just so dry. I have terribly dry skin. If I don't go in with something that's super hydrating and get that all into my skin, I'm gonna notice by the end of the day that I'm so dry and I feel yucky. So definitely not the best one for me. Derma E Vitamin C Intense Night Cream. Okay, I liked that it had vitamin C in it, but it wasn't an intense night cream because the way that I can tell if it's an intense night cream or not is if it lasts with me until the morning. And I usually only sleep about six to seven hours at night anyway. So if there's a cream that can't last that long, I'm not very happy with it. And this one just kind of fell short. And then also this is from Bay Body. This is their retinol. This has a lot of claims on it, guys. So strap in for this one. The retinol, anti anti-aging, moisturizing, intense, firming, reducing the, the appearance of wrinkles cream. Did it do that? I don't think so. It wasn't that great for me, you guys. I liked the delivery system where you just push on this and you get your product off of there. So you know that not everything else is getting contaminated. Great delivery system. But beyond that, there wasn't a lot that I can say that's positive towards it. It wasn't a great moisturizer. Anything that has these retinols in them, I don't feel like it's enough of a retinol for me. I have to have my Retin-A. I just have to. And so this was one that was not like over the moon wonderful for me. So I'm probably gonna skip that one. This one right here is Youth to the People. This is their kale and green tea and spinach vitamin cleanser. This is a foaming cleanser. It's a really nice cleanser, um, but I felt like it wasn't a cleanser that I could go in and I could get my makeup off with. And that's probably why I won't be repurchasing again. It was okay. So I felt like this would be, if you're used to doing a double cleanse, which most of us are, if you're used to doing that, get something that's gonna take off your makeup, then you could go in with this one and it would be fine. Personally, philosophy, the one I just showed you, it works really good. I'll take my makeup off and then I only need a tiny, tiny bit, if even that, to do that second cleanse. So that one I'm probably going to pass on. This one is a little tube of the Sikapair, I think that's how you, you pronounce it, Dr. Jart Sikapair Tiger Grass Cream. That's a mouthful. <laughs> this one, you guys, I love this stuff. And I know that there are a couple of you gals that said that there was something else that you use that's a lot less expensive than this. List that below if you gals remember what I'm talking about. I had a Retin-A video where this was in there because it was just such a soothing cream because my skin was so angry and hurting so bad. And this soothed everything about it and it was just lovely. If I get the chance to get this again, I will be buying it again. But you guys had mentioned one, I can go back on that video and look, but you guys had mentioned one that I really wanted to um, perk my ears up and take note of and try to. This one is from Wonder 2 and this is the Wonder Kiss Lip Scrub. I loved using this, you guys. This is the granules that you have when you use one of these and then the moisturizer that goes in. So the, the granules help scrub and then you wipe it off and you're left with the moisturizer on your lips. So 
I really like this one, not only because the scrub wasn't too harsh, but also because of the balm that it left behind. I just thought it was just really lovely. And I really did enjoy that one. And if I get the chance, I probably will repurchase that one. Also from X Lash, and I just put this, I think in my monthly favorites. This is my new Holy Grail Lash Serum that I will never be without. I cannot believe what this has done to my lashes. My lashes were practically non-existent before. And now I feel like they're growing like crazy. They are getting longer, they're getting thicker. Now somebody did ask me, will this make my lashes thicker? What it does is help your lashes that are there to grow in and not turn over so quickly and to grow their, their maximum length before they fall out. Eyelashes have a very short life cycle. They really do. So using this, I just have felt like it is so good on my lashes and I bought the big one of this that I'm using now. Also in here is a Maybelline Master Camo. This one is in the yellow color. I use the yellow for my dark spots that are out here on the sides of my faces. I have them on both sides. I have dark spots that are age spots and scars, old scars from when I had really bad acne as a kid. The yellow seems to be really good. I use the red, the, the green for my redness, and then I use the orange for underneath my eyes, but the red, yellow seems to do really good on my age spots. We'll be repurchasing that. Okay, this is what I was talking about in so many of my comments people have asked me lately, especially in that video about concealers that I just did. They've asked me, their skin underneath their eyes is so dry, what do we do? This is what I do and I love it. This tube is gone. I cut them in half so that I can get a Q-tip down in there and get us all the product out of there because I don't wanna waste it. This is from Sukiyaka Suhada and I love this eye cream. This is the um, Urea eye cream. So good, you guys. You know what I was saying about being able to, you know, put your moisturizer on at night and wake up with feeling moisturized? This does it, and I've never seen anything in all the products that I've ever tried ever do this. This will be my holy grail as long as possible. Now, am I going to try other eye creams? Probably, but I feel like this is the one that the moisture just, oh my goodness, the moisture is just there. So if you use a hyaluronic acid underneath this, you would just have so much moisture being held to your eyes. It's really, really good. It is that good. Urea does two things. First of all, not only does it give that intense, yummy moisture that those wrinkles and fine lines and crepiness need, but it also has a property in it that does a little bit of exfoliation. Now, how many products do you know that are exfoliating products that you can put right up underneath your eyes? Hardly any, because they're gonna burn a little bit, but this does it gradually. So Urea products, I'm completely sold on. There was a lot in there, but I definitely wanted to show you guys what I would repurchase. So I wanna say thank you so much for tuning in today. If you did enjoy it, please give it that thumbs up that I always do ask for. I appreciate you guys spending some of your time with me. I know that your time is valuable, but thank you for supporting my channel and always supporting me too. I just really appreciate it. You guys all go out and have an amazing day and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.